What's going on guys, it's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. This box here just showed up in the mail. I cannot wait to show you what's inside here. Uh, all I'm gonna say right now is it's a bow sight. I'm making a change and I think it's a change for the better. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what's in here. All right. go all right this is from option archery nice little uh, handwritten note there that says let me know if you have any questions that's awesome thank you Dan I will let you know right here got some uh, oh yeah installation instructions uh, installation and operation um, some decals, that's awesome. Set of Allen keys right here. And then looks like, um, yeah, these are all sight tapes. Uh, a variety of sight tapes that come in the box. That is awesome that it came with a set of Allen keys. Very cool. Let's get this in here. All right, that's gonna do it for inside the box. Let's open this puppy up. Oh, oh man, look at that. That is a piece of art right there. Look at that. So this is the CP5. This is the Canyon Pounder five pin sight from Option Archery. I went with the, the pick rail mount. Um, man, this thing feels solid super solid like first impressions uh taking this out of the bubble wrapping which uh i guess you can get um uh, dan also sells uh, hard cases that you can keep this in i just decided to get the bubble wrapping um but right when i took this out of the bubble wrap i put it in my hands and i was like wow this feels like i mean it just feels like quality like everything on here nothing on here feels flimsy or cheap or anything like that um kind of go over it here with you give you a once over this is literally the first time i've ever laid my hands on this uh so went with the pick rail um you've got a sight tape here and you've also got a sight tape here uh the thing i like about that uh, i was doing a lot of research on this site and basically this sight tape right here is going to be a reference for the middle pin which i'll go into that in a little bit um is gonna be a reference for the middle pin. So I set my pins up 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Um, so that's gonna be set at 50 yards. And when I wanna use that middle pin, say I've got like a real precise shot that I need to make, uh, maybe like, you know, threading the needle type of thing between like a gap in the trees or something like that. Um, let's see if I can do this first try. Yep, there we go. This flips out, this part here, and now there's just a single pin right there, okay? So this is gonna give me to the yard accuracy for um, those more, a little bit more technical shots, or you know, say I'm going to you know, an archery shoot or something like that, some 3D shoot, and I wanna you know, just kinda live the single pin life while I'm there. Um, that is, that is what that's gonna come in handy for. The other side though, let me tighten this or close that back up there. That's really cool. That operates off magnets. There's magnets right here. There's magnets here. You open this and then these run into these magnets right here and that's how it stays open. So pretty cool. Close that back up. Um, this sight tape right here though is going to be, I'm gonna set this for my bottom pin, which is what I'm used to. This is a slider sight, obviously. What I'm used to doing is using my bottom pin as the floater. With this sight, you're, I'm actually gonna have kind of, when you think about it, two floaters. Um, and this one will be referencing the middle pin 
and then this one will be referencing the bottom pin. The, the one for the bottom pin is gonna be, uh, what I liked about this, this site just has a lot of versatility to it, which is something that really stood out to me. But the bottom pin is gonna be for those longer shots. You know, if I need to, because obviously that middle pin is in the middle of the site housing, right? So you're only gonna get so much yardage out of that when you're uh, dialing the site down. The bottom pin though is gonna give you more yardage to make a further shot. So whether you know I'm at the archery range and I'm practicing further distance or I need to reach out and touch something a little further, say like on a follow-up shot in the field, that's gonna be able to do it. Um, and it's just gonna be back to my regular scheduled program of using the bottom pin as a floater, like I've always been used to. So um, let's see here, check this thing out here. So we have, you have one indicator here and then Got another indicator here. It looks like the, you can slightly uh, adjust these. There's Allen uh, screws right here to adjust the indicator a little bit up or down if you need to. Um, this is obviously the dial right here. So that is super, really, really smooth. Wow. Gosh, that's really, that's like butter smooth. That's really nice. I like the feel of this dial too, man. It's got grip on it. It doesn't feel clunky at all. It feels very stout. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break at all. That is super rad, man. Um, looks like the pin fibers are getting lit up by right in here, uh, four of them. The, if I'm not mistaken, the middle pin, the floater, is actually located right here. This is where the pin fiber is right here for the middle pin. And that's where that's uh, getting light from. So bubble level is located on the bottom of the site housing, pretty standard. What's not standard about that though, is this is actually where the th your, your uh, third axis adjustment is on this site. Normally third axis adjustments are kind of somewhere in, in this region over here. Um, but with this one is right here on the bubble level. So that's pretty unique. Um, let me see here. It looks like I got, you got micro adjust uh, for windage. Yep. Micro adjust windage. Looks like this is the wheel that adjusts the windage back and forth. So get some precise micro adjustments. There's also, um, uh, what I love, there's the indicator uh, marks here. So you can kind of keep track of, of uh, your adjustments. Another cool thing about this site uh, is, th so this is mounted, this site housing is mounted on this bracket right here with, with four screws. If you notice down here, there's multiple other attachment points that I could take this off and move it on this bracket to better appease my setup if I maybe I had a clearance issue or something like that. Um, I could move this site housing uh, to one of these other attachment points right here uh, with these four screws right there. So this is, um, I, I'm really excited about this site, man. Uh, and real quick, I'll probably do a video like totally dedicated to this, but um, just this skinny, I, I, I've been shooting that Excel uh, for a couple months now. It's been a great site. Um, but what's been happening with it is uh, the slide has actually been coming loose on me. And um, it's been coming loose and moving without me knowing. Um, I've been noticing that at the archery range uh, when it's too late and I go, oh wow, I hit high right there. And I look down at my indicator and I'm off, you know, three or four yards because my slider went down. So um, that was a little freaky, and I, I don't know if you remember me mentioning this before, but I was a little freaked out about how many uh, screws were on that Excel. I, gosh, I really like that Excel site. It's, it's a, like really well made, but with how much is going on there, I was in the back of my head, I was a little worried about bringing it on backpack hunts. Um, and after putting more and more testing through it and seeing that, oh, this is, this is coming loose here, that could, I mean, that could cost me a bad shot in the field. You know what I mean? So uh, for me, I was like, you know what? I've heard nothing, like literally nothing but good things about this site. Like nothing but good things. I've never heard somebody complain about one of these. Um, nothing is perfect, okay? But so far, that has been the skinny on the Canyon Pounder. Uh, like I, I did a post um, a, a while back, I did a video on the Excel versus the black gold and some people commented on that and they said you need to check out the Canyon Pounder. So I literally went after that and I checked this out and I was just, I mean, this thing just spoke to me, man. Like it just, like it screams durability, um, practicality, functionality, just everything. Um, and you can tell 
that a hardcore bow hunter made this site. Okay, um, this thing looks looks like it's just built for the backcountry. So I'm really excited to put it through the paces, and I'm going to keep you guys updated on it. And I will likely do a full review on this uh, in the future. So um, just a short unboxing video for you guys. If you like the video, please hit thumbs up. If you like the channel, please hit subscribe. And until next time, uh, comment down below. Have you used the Canyon Pounder? What has been your experience? Uh, and if you're not using the Canyon Pounder, what site are you using and why? Thanks for watching, guys.